Right, somebody was asking me how I prep pictures for uh, sandblasting. So this is a picture. I wasn't that good of a picture. I've already uh, run this picture through raw camera filter, which is how I prep it uh, for uh, any type of engraving. Um, and I have a whole separate video on how I prep these. I'm just going to make this video on how to half tone. So I'm going to go up to image mode and make it grayscale first. And then image uh, mode and bitmap. Flatten layers. It's, it's going to make you flatten layers. Um, DPI, I leave it 300, and where it says diffusion dither, I'm going to change to halftone and hit OK. Now, on my, um, for rapid mask, I do frequency of 45. Um, angle, I believe, is 22.5. And the shape I make round and then hit OK. So now if you zoom in on this, you'll see it's a bunch of dots. Um, and that's how I do it. Now you can change this to a uh, I don't normally do this, but somebody else told me I should. Uh, trying to figure it out. Hold on. Stand by. I don't see it. Somebody told me to um, turn it into a smart object, and it would wouldn't distort when I change the size. <clears throat> what I would, I think, what I've probably always done is size the picture before I put it in halftone. So I get the size I want, and then convert it to halftone, um, and then that's it. So there's your all your little dots, and uh, through some experimenting is where I came up with. Uh, the number of dots, which I think 45 without having too much blowout, I think was kind of the way to do it. So that's pretty much it on how I convert these into halftones to print with uh, Rapid Mask.